15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have commit and we have liftoff at 2.13. The Saturn V building up to 7.6 million pounds of thrust and it has cleared the tower. On April the 11th, 1970, Apollo 13 was launched. It was scheduled to be the third manned landing on the moon. But two days into the mission, everything changed. Hey, uh, we've had a problem here. The world held its breath. Can say again, please. Uh, uh, Houston, we've had a problem. The Apollo 13 explosion was a drama of epic proportions. It reads like a film script, and indeed, it was turned into a highly successful Hollywood movie. But can you imagine for a moment what Mission Control and the crew of Apollo 13 were up against? The oxygen system failing. The electrical power system failing. Systems failing before their very eyes. Even the system needed to perform an abort maneuver for a direct return to Earth failing. And all the while, the clock is ticking. So what happens when your people get the call? The call that says, we have a problem. Do they muddle through the crisis, or do they manage the crisis? Your answer to this question, right here, right now, is absolutely key to your business success, and even your business survival. It may not be life support systems that are failing, but your key processes are the life support systems of your business. But before you answer, Let's look again at the Apollo 13 mission and consider how this crisis was handled. There was a leader, the mission controller. There was a well-trained team, mission control and the crew. There was communication. It was on time, it was effective and it was calm and relevant. There was control, an incident controller. There was a well-designed contingency system. There were clear roles and responsibilities. And as we all know, there was a happy ending. The lives of three brave astronauts were saved. The Apollo 13 rescue is still relevant today. It provides an ideal opportunity to put ITIL disciplines and key leadership skills to the test, to put together a team that works well together, to create clear channels of communication, to take control and keep control, to see the benefits of having a clear role definition and feel the impact of clear priorities in decision-making responsibilities. It's an exercise which will highlight your strengths and weaknesses across the team, giving you the chance to put it right. You can experience thrilling rounds of the mission and see for yourself just how powerful and invaluable the Apollo 13 team-building event can be for you, your support staff and the future. Muddle through a crisis, manage a crisis. If the call came now, what would your team do? Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem.